Hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. There is one thing in Wild Eaton I forgot to do, and that's, uh, well, we need to give some more money over here to the Waddle Dees, the thing, I forget what they're called. Either way, let's go ahead and give them 2,000 this time. Give them all of our money. Let's just do the wait for it. Wait for it. There's a lot of money. Like being a Luma Starbits. <laughs> and hey, look, now they have a real looking, uh, uh, wow. Uh, why can't I think of that? Bandstand, I guess? Stage! Wow, why, why did I not think of that? Whatever, now we can play all the songs now. More than that. Oh my gosh, look, Kirby, the Deedly Dees, that's their name, gave us a special figure to thank us for supporting them. It's the local four band, the Deedly Dees. They love to jam in front of a crowd and start at each request off with a wah wah, let's go. Band meetings at the cafe can get heated due to their musical, different musical tastes. But when the tunes kick in, they fall perfectly in sync. Alright, now if you look at my collection here, I did a little bit of grinding for money off screen. And I got every single figure I can at the moment. If you notice, there are some empty spaces here. But all of these requires to do something, such as being all of, uh, unlocking every movie, which you need to do by unlocking the true arena. Being the ultimate cup. Clearing every treasure road stage. Being that cup again. And this one unlocks in the gacha machine lineup after you clear everything. So, there's all that. So, with that, we can't do much else in here, so let's go ahead and head off to the world map and do those two treasure trials that we have not done yet. Gotta kinda climb down from Land of Scavra, though. Starting off, let's start with the harder one here, which is Masked Hammer Treasure. This one is very, very, very strict on time. But, uh, there is a trick to it, and you just have to, once again, master the technique to do it. Will I do it in my first shot? Eh, maybe. I guess we'll see. By the way, first thing you want to do is go here, charge up, and then do that. And at this point, you just want to keep on bouncing with the fire this way. Because this will hit all the enemies on the screen. And I think I already messed up there. Dang. And you don't have to actually get anywhere close to any of them. You can pretty much just do what you can at that point. If anything, you kind of want to get close to something that way. And then... I already messed up here. Alright, trying this again. I think me looking at this screen, of course, is messing me up again when it comes to the timing of the jump for the triple jump thing. Because I'm not getting my bouncing time down, which I've never had an issue with before in my practice runs. So I'm pretty sure it's me just trying to get my bouncing down, which is the timing is messing up. But I could also just be a multitude of other things, too. That works out a lot better. Now for this, just wait for them to come in. And then... Yep, there we go. Just gotta keep my balancing, make sure I... It's kind of hard to tell what you're doing sometimes because there's so much fire on the ground and the perspective is like you gotta be really far back. And you need to keep track of where you are because otherwise it could be really messing up. Now here, stay away from the snacks, because, snackers or whatever. Because you pretty much just want to kill them with fire and stay away from them. Because if you get grabbed, that could mess up your timing heavily. So just focus on everything else that's on the screen and eventually you will end up killing them with fire anyway. So it doesn't really matter regardless. Now for this, we can charge up to three. Wait to charge the three again. And that's it. I think I got it. So quickly jump over here.
Whew, yeah, the target time is a minute 40, and I did that pretty, pretty close to what I would like to do in terms of... I think I did it 132 as my best in my practice run, my other file. But still, it is very, very strict. And pretty much, if you try to just hit everything manually instead of just flying on the fire uh, tornadoes, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Even using the fire tornadoes to just have everything do the work for you, it still is really, really close. And you pretty much have to destroy bonkers in two hits to have any shot. Whew. So yeah, that, that one is a very difficult treasure road for sure. At least on your first attempt, maybe not the second attempt so much. However, the other one that we unlocked with the final ability is the exact opposite. You have to really, really try to mess this one up. And uh, it says target time for a minute, so you have a lot of time, but it's also a really long treasure trial. But it's just not hard, because your power is so, so strong, you just slash through anything normally. Well, let's just do this. Alright. Now, you'll start off here, these little portals here. And, of course, you have plenty of stuff coming at you. But then, look at this power. If you charge up your beam, you have the giant Morphonite Sword. Now, granted, I don't have my sword beams anymore, but that doesn't mean much of anything. Because... You could easily heal. And you're just really, really powerful. So, you could pretty much just blow through all these enemies without even barely trying. Sword beams or not. Fun fact, I had to kill myself early and restart this because I realized I had double health, which gave me sword beams. Which honestly, while well, wouldn't really change much of anything, period, it still feels kind of cheap to use. Yeah, look at this. I'm not even sure where I'm at, but I'm still doing damage. Yeah, but you can heal as well when you hit stuff. <laughs> That's just... That just adds to the power of the thing. Also, there's another trick too. Well, I already showed that off too. Before I was showing off the ability scrolls. But, either way... Now we have Twin Frosty. Ooh, I just, I still got it. Like, look at that. I'm barely even trying. I'm pretty much just getting close to it. I think I actually started off, I have more health than I started off with for this. But yeah, you can pretty, pretty much blow through all the enemies this way. So it's almost impossible to not get that target time. It is pretty ridiculous. Now we have Twin Florina. Look, look at this. This is so much fun being able to completely destroy these two. Yeah, I'm at uh, more health than I was started off with. And there's only one more to go. Let's see if we can end off with full health with this. Let's see, this time we got dual edges. Thank you. 
Yep, full health. <laughs> Headed off at full health. I think as long as you end it off with like a minute and 20, I think you're good. Or is it two minutes and 20? I don't know. Either way, we still got it in plenty of time. I know that much. And look, look at that reward. We get all kinds of star coins for our troubles. Hooray. Let's see, what kind of time did we do that in? Three minutes and five seconds. That gives us an extra 55 seconds to be able to get the target time. Yeah. It is really hard to mess that up. And that's it. That's every treasure road and every target time. You cleared every treasure road by using all of your different abilities. You've earned a special figure as a reward. Rare Stone Master. It's not clear how or why the space called Treasure Road started to appear behind portals throughout the New World. A strong energy was felt from within, and rare stones were soon discovered as, as its source. Congratulations on collecting all of them. Alright, well let's go and head back to Wildy Town. Let's go upgrade the Toy Hammer while we can. I don't think I have enough to upgrade it fully in terms of coinage, but I'll at least be able to upgrade something of it. Skip that. So now you got Toy Hammer plus one, so your attack power is increased. And of course, you could upgrade it even further. It requires three and 1200. Toy Hammer plus two. Attack power has increased even more. Now look at that. It has the same power as the Masked Hammer now, except now you have the ability to hit it much, much faster. But we could also upgrade it again. Hold on. I don't want to use that ability yet. Wait, that's not like two. There we are. Let's upgrade it even more. We can't. We don't have enough star coins. In fact, I don't think I'll even be able to get enough star coins if I uh, beat the arena thing. So, uh, all right, we'll figure that out. Actually, let me get the let me get the morphonite real quick. I'm just gonna cheese through the regular arena because why not? I mean, it's only the regular game doesn't really account for too much. Doesn't really matter. Just want to have some fun here anyway. So let's go ahead and do the ultimate cup. Or the Coliseum, which is, yeah. The ultimate cup rewards 1,500 star coins and one rare stone. And the first time clear reward of a Fecto Elf list figure. Let's go ahead and do this. The ultimate cup. You have two abilities you get to use. You can either do time crash or the sword. I have the sword, of course. So let's go ahead and begin. At the very beginning, we have mini bosses. Yeah. Oh, I actually damage. That's unfortunate. Oh well. That's what I get for getting too cocky. But it's fine. We have six max on tomatoes. We're A-OK. -okay. Florina. So much easier to just take out new bosses like this. Look at that. No issue. This is a lot of fun. DDD Hammer versus Sword with Beams. Who will win?
Look at this. Yeah, you can pretty much just dodge for a really, really long time, too. Less threatening when you have a giant sword uh, butterfly thing. Better night. Sure, I'll grab it. back to full health again. You did you took damage to me, so there's that. You do do damage, so good job, Meta Knight. just go through that entirely. The music for this is pretty good though. Playing pretty recklessly, but eh, it is what it is. Just trying to see how quick I can take you out with the Morphonite Sword, really. Yeah, I'll take one of these, why not? You even have a deep sleep ability there in case you need it to restore to full health and get an extra power up boost. You're almost, you're almost pretty bad out right now. And that should be it. Yep, that's it. Ooh, trees. I love taking out trees with swords. Doing some tree chopping. Gonna play some, uh, what was that game in Star Allies? Uh, Crazy Choppers or something? I was going Chop Champs. That was it. It was Chop Champs. Playing some Chop Champs. Always forget that uh, he can reposition that thing when you need to. And you're dead. 
You're not chopping the logs, though, so that's uh, that's a plus for you, really. All right, we got, ooh, Goromondo. That's fun. Well, I'm back to full health. That's cool. Ooh, we got four go DDD now. That's it. Now I'll just leaves the final bosses. Star coins. All right, that just leaves. Oh yeah, this thing. Just keep running away from it until it starts uh, stopping. Killed the lag. More star coins. And a pet brew in case I needed it, which I really didn't, honestly, but hey, whatever. Always love this music. It's always a treat to hear it. I love the sunlight in the background. We already know who you are, we fight in the story.
It really is amazing that you just float over this, even though they're like close things up. Never mind. I guess it only works within a certain point to a certain degree. You should be in your second phase very shortly. That should be it now. Watch for all the falling meteors. And... Let's see, look for a shadow. Here it is. This ability is just a little kind of slightly completely overpowered but hey just wanted to show it off in the way I can besides it's just the ultimate cup who cares congratulations on a stunning victory Kirby here's your hard-won reward you got 1500 star coins you got a rare stone and a special figure Ultimate life form, Vecto Elphilis. The Elphilin we first met was a born from a small, compassionate soul that hid behind greater invasive ambitions. Without a soul to temper its power, the creature's spatial teleportation ability ran amok, opening mysterious vortices left and right. Now that they're whole again, they're already planning their next invasion. And look, there's been a new upgrade to the arena. Ready for the ultimate test of skill? You can now enter the Ultimate Cup Z in the Coliseum. To enter the Ultimate Cup Z, visit the booth in front of the Coliseum. Good luck. All right. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, I think I might have enough for the... No, I think I needed 2,500, wasn't it? 2,500 to upgrade this ability. Let's see. Wait. Nah, dang it. I don't want to do that yet. Yeah, 2,500. Alright, so I know what that means. That means time to grind and do some, uh... Uh, what is that? Minimum wage pay! Hooray! Let's go in and do this real quick. Alternatively, you could use the glitch that allows you to kind of skip inside the arena using the hammer glitch. Did I ever show that off? Might as well, actually. There we are. Then I kind of go in there, kind of walk around, and then when I go in here, then I go in that, go into the Meta Knight Cup. Actually, could have used to use Time Crash for that, thinking about it. That power. 
And if I'm not mistaken, by doing it, by clipping around that way, it pretty much already, you have to do one battle to get the reward for that. And basically, that's how some people end up getting tons of uh, rare coins, rare stones. And, uh, yeah. And I forgot you don't get the money more than the first time. The first time you only get the money that way. Well, looks like I do have to do minimum wage. Give me a second here. Alright, looks like I couldn't avoid you anyway. Alright, so with that, we get 218 star coins, which is just enough. I think I needed, to beat, I needed to beat this twice in a row to get enough star coins for it. So now I can fully power up this weapon. So let's go in and do that. Power that up. And we got Toy Hammer plus Star. The ability has now reached its max attack power. And whenever you update ability, if you notice there, once you get to full power, it's like a shiny little rainbow. So that's cool. So now, full power. Does there any difference in terms of power on the, uh, the dummy? I don't think it really does, but let's see anyway. That's a lot of damage there. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Alright, so with that, we only have one left thing to do in this game. If you notice here, in our, well actually let's go outside real quick. In our collection for our figures, the only things we have left to do, being all of Ultimate Cup Z, unlocking every movie, which is done by being the Ultimate Cup Z, being all the Cup Z, and then this one here, which is clear all the open cups in the Colosseum, once you add to it. So yeah, we have two figures you get from being the Ultimate Cup Z. One that you get for be unlocking every movie by being the Ultimate Cup Z. And one figure that you have to get in the Gotcha lineup machine after clearing all the Ultimate Cup Z. So, if you couldn't have guessed, all you have to left to do in this game is beat Ultimate Cup Z. Which, of course, is over here. Interesting of note about this. Ultimate Cup Z. The Ultimate Cup Z is now available at the Coliseum. Challenging battles with ferocious bosses await you. Now, he does say something interesting about this, too. Like, for example, if you choose this. Kirby, I should warn you about the Ultimate Cup Z. The Ultimate Cup Z takes place in some other realm where you'll face intense battles with scary foes. I can't follow you into that arena, and worse than that, I can't commentate over your battles. But I know you'll survive. No, I know you'll win. After all, you just saved this entire world. I'm not going to do it, but I just want to show it off real quick. This is essentially a Forgo arena, and you're pretty much, well, in Forgo's dreams of the arena. Which is kind of interesting. But of course, like I said before, we'll tackle this later. And my goal is to beat it with Toy Hammer plus Star. And then get more than one of the final bosses spawned using the glitch. And then try to fight both beings without abilities. I don't know if I'll show that or not. Because I already technically have a no ability run of the Ultimate Cub Z. So that's the only thing I'll really do differently. Maybe I'll stream that, or maybe this entire combination will be meaningless, because you'll see the next post video posted up. I guess we'll find out. Either way, see you guys next time.